Okay, how's it going guys everyone? This is Wicked Android HD and today I'm gonna be reviewing uh, Semi Deluxe ROM. So it's the first Lollipop released developer um, put it into download section and I'm really nervous about this ROM because I know for uh, because I have flashed this ROM, this is a ROM with uh, previous 4.4 uh, KitKat releases and it was rock stable so I can wait to see if this lollipop ROM based on 5.2.1 stock Samsung is um, as stable as it was for example on the KitKat so we're into recovery right now and I do always recommend making Android backup before proceeding to the wiping part because this ROM of course needs a wiping process before clean wiping process before the installation itself so how do you do a backup of your current configuration Go into backup and restore, then uh, backup either to SD card or SD card 1. So, in case if something goes wrong, you'll be able to return to your current configuration. So, after that being said, uh, let's get into the wiping part and click to install a new RAW. Okay, let's start. Okay, so after you have wiped your device, as you may see here, says now flash new ROM we'll get it we'll get back and then install the ZIP and then we're gonna choose semi deluxe ROM something green and leafy that's a very interesting title so let's see if it benefits of aroma installer opening update package and let's see Yes, it benefits of Aroma Installer. Okay, <laughs> really nice. So, version S, something green and leafy, this way comes. It was updated on 12th of May. It is made for Samsung Galaxy S5 i9505. Okay, I agree. I'm not responsible, of course, you're not comeback release as I told you full wipe again so let's see touch with launcher mods touch with launcher stock touch with launcher s6 edge or touch with launcher s6 I'm gonna go for let's see the s6 edge I'm really curious about it s held version s6 use down your, at your own risk yes I will select additional Samsung features you want to install this is very cool because it allows you to debloat your or your device on your uh, preferences so S6 dollar and contact let's check this out we're gonna need uh, uh, nope none of this so right now we'll, we got into the flashing process uh, I'll leave it like this I'm gonna get back to you guys after I configure my Galaxy S4 running semi deluxe ROM so stay tuned guys Okay guys, I'm back here with Sammy Deluxe ROM. Just bump up a little bit the brightness just to show you uh, the first look. Well, <clears throat> to be honest, let's tell you, um, for its kind, this ROM for its kind is behaving really fast. Speaking uh, of a, a kind of a S6 port. Uh, just to show you some difference that you will uh, observe uh, right after you flash this ROM is this uh, the big uh, edge S6 edge launcher touch with launcher which is behaving really really fast as you may see here we have briefing with uh, powered by Flipboard everything is fast and smooth we have here uh, sorry folders Really interesting, really interesting smooth animations as you may see. I have done a kernel editor to customize okay, uh, not uh, Imperium kernel settings. But as I told you, the first thing things you will notice uh, are defined by uh, phone and contact applications application like this. So this is the stock one from Samsung Galaxy S6. And I'm gonna call. I'm gonna be calling a number. 
for example this and as you may see looks really different um, compared to the old 4.4.2 uh, one we will also receive a message right now some messages actually because we called the orange service twice as you may see credit info you can see the pop-up right here you can view the message as you may see the notification uh, bar looks exactly the same as the Galaxy S6 uh, so you can see the contact messages of course as I, as I showed you um, internet camera let's take a look at the camera so I guess it's this is, has also been modified as you can see this is the Galaxy S6 camera if I'm not mistaken so mode have auto and we can download other modes unable to open app is disabled to enable this click enable well I think it's a bug but yeah it's a bug you can download the you can't download any effects but flash is working no it's not or oh, how can I HDR yes HDR works with all the effects here but flash unable to use flash oh it was uh, battery is running low as you may see I'm charging it by using an external as a uh, battery but let's take a picture and see how it looks so really fast what what's this know where it stores the pictures to be honest where are the pictures stored but we'll figure it out supporting that it's using it's using the Galaxy S6 camera port I think it's been ported by LB95 so it turns out for him another Galaxy S6 app that you will see is this music app beautiful app so let's see sorry okay let's see how it uh, looks like on notification bar as you may see like here and we're gonna I'm gonna be showing you the lock screen the lock screen along with the music music uh, widget so really fast unlock um, gonna be showing you fast way to unlock your device by disabling that popping color so calculator white material style clock uh, one thing that uh, I found it is most interesting and I think it's really bloatware because as you may see the clock it's uh, showing 5 and 4 the same time as it is in the reality and if you go back and then you will notice that it's been modified here so it's really showing the real time which is kind of interesting but I think it may be a ram hog since uh, it's kind of a live widget but you know Samsung yeah not gonna get into that folders and how they look like voice recorder let's see the voice recorder as we see Galaxy S6 voice recorder Galaxy S6 S Planner uh, looking really nice here we have an app that you won't be ever using it's called um, S Voice because we already have Google now and it's really useless but let's start as voice but um, I open this in order to disable this open via via the home key because it uh, it will be faster as you may see press and it's way faster so disable that and then disable the app itself it will be much faster then we'll get what else do we have here? Earth, another S memo with S pen. It's a library that cannot be executed. Try it. Hmm. Samsung Post memo. Oh, good. Um, S Twix I have here an application which allows us to customize 
kernel settings but I prefer uh, kernel edge utilities app you will get from from Play Store weather weather options really looking pretty cool you may see 25 degrees Celsius really hot here in Bucharest with really nice weather animations we'll get into settings right now because I found these settings really interesting because we have here some quick settings also we have a lot of toggles here you may see sliding from left to right and you can customize them from here so you can customize the order it's in uh, German but uh, in Dutch but uh, yeah you will figure out why what's uh, doing what is everyone every single tool of this doing and as you may see as you may see torch is working perfectly so we have here mobile data let me zoom in and focus what else do we have here multi multi, multi window NFC not gonna be using this do not disturb ultra power saving mode which allows us to if uh, we're running out of battery really quickly it allows us to um, receive this kind of user interface of course this is a bug with a gray grayish user interface and really simple user interface you may see estimated max standby time 1.5 days with 12 percent battery so we're gonna be disabling this it's working just to make sure it's working perfectly apart from that we have other cool tools let me show you so we have download booster which uh, combines the 4G network along with the uh, Wi-Fi in order to get a uh, much higher download rate so let's get back into settings as I was uh, telling you guys we have here some really different settings we have here kind of X6 uh, combined with the S5 settings we have quick settings here along with uh, all the stock uh, stock categories from Samsung you see it's pretty lagging I don't know why but I think it's because of the kernel just to show you I'm running I'm running the latest uh, semi deluxe ROM so speaking of uh, home buttons if you it's speaking of uh, buttons right here down below if you long press on the home button you will get into Google now if you single press on the option key you'll get into the last uh, the most used apps I can confirm that uh, it's still lagging so not such a big improvement over here again so uh, yeah uh, I was about to show you a really quick way to optimize your unlocking time so going to lock screen and security and set the lock the unlock effect to to none. Okay, this will help you or to get a much faster unlock. So yeah, without any animations, and it looks really cool if you ask me. So it really looks cool and fast, and you don't have any problems with it. So that was semi deluxe round, guys. Hope you like it. If you did, please thumbs up and subscribe right down to my channel. I'll put link in the description with the, the XDA thread, and of course you will find there the download link. And uh, again, thanks for watching, guys. Wick Android is out. Bye bye.